a library on wheels, but as you can see, it is a stationary uh, library, not a mobile library. So one thing which you have also covered and which you have seen is that in the last one year particularly, um, as part of our library movement, we have been trying to take books to public spaces. Uh, like there's a library in, in a public park, which you've covered. There's a library in Hart, a Kamra Hart, just a Delhi Hart, hai, the Kamra Hart, mein, a cafe. Mein hai. So similarly, we wanted to have a library, uh, one in this part of the city, which doesn't have libraries in the northern part of the city. And then there was this beautiful museum, right, Kalabhumi. And we thought we wanted to have a library here. Uh, because the museum, one, apart from getting the audience which comes to the museum, the museum is also a very identifiable location. So for people to know that, okay, you go there and the library is there. But then the museum has its own entry restrictions, right? Entry tickets and all. And we wanted the library to be free. So we talked to the museum authorities that can we do use the parking space? And they agreed. So parking space may again, and we have also been trying to come up with out of the box ways in which we can present books. Because it's a, see, we are trying to create readers. We, we are imagining that everyone is a reluctant reader. I mean, anyone who's already got into the habit of reading, they will anyway come. But for those who are reluctant, not interested, how can we attract them to the library? So that is why in Ekamrahat we had a, uh, an old fridge that was made into a library. So similarly here, we thought in the parking space, the most logical um, uh, uh, way to uh, package books would be a vehicle. So uh, we approached OSRTC, the State Road Transport Corporation. They gave us a big bus. But then this bus was old and it was condemned. So it was not really in the best condition to move around. Uh, so we thought, and anyway, we wanted to use it as a container. So we raised funds from public um, to refabricate the bus into a library. And that is how what you see here. See, one thing I would tell, particularly, we have been focusing on youngsters, children and young people. See, we are going away from books. And I am not very Puritan in terms of how you access reading material. But we cannot escape the reading habit. Because, see, I also coach young people when they are, you know, preparing for their careers. And I see how much everyone, you have already done, got your degrees that you want to you want to now do an MBA or anything when you any aspirational job you know or program requires test your reading capabilities because that is a foundational skill uh, so there is no escaping reading whether we read a printed book or we read on the digital screen uh, but whatsapp messages would not do because see the problem with social media what is happening is our attention spans have also gone for a toss and it is very important for that attention span for whatever we do. So I don't think there is any way in which we can escape the value that a reading habit gives us. The mode of reading may just change. So I think we will see whether we like it or not. See, it is for you know organizations like ours. We are trying our best to ensure that we get people to get into the habit of reading. You know, so the idea behind this is wherever you go, our books follow. But then, I guess, for everyone needs to understand also that only textbook will not work. That I need to read beyond the textbook and that will broaden my mind, my horizon. Also develop the imagination, which is very important. Uh, one, of course, I can read, I can sleep and read. You know, I can read on the phone, but that's not good for the eyes. So, that is there. Many people love the smell of the books also. Uh, there is an interesting thing with our libraries because all our libraries have been set up with donated books. So there are two kinds of stories in them. You know, so there is a book which has had the warmth of a home and someone who loved it has sent it across. So, and it has two stories. The story that is printed in it and the story uh, of how the book came to us. Right. So not only that, see, I think a physical book has a very strong, strong part of our culture which the digital uh, thing threatens and that is the culture of sharing so if you think about it i you know the culture of sharing doesn't come really with a pdf or whatever i mean i can just share it but i don't feel like that but here people have parted with their beloved belonging which is a book and they have shared that you know i have read now others should also read it 
I think that culture of sharing which the physical book when it moves from one hand to another uh, that it brings and that it fosters that somehow the because see what happens with the digital book is the consumption is very personal very individual so digital uh, culture also promotes a kind of individualistic culture whereas a physical book promotes a kind of community you know we are creating a community of readers so that that sense of a community becomes very important